Hi friends, this is Prasanna and welcome to my YouTube channel. The main purpose of this channel is to give you a quick summary of any popular books which are currently available in the market. There are many people who can't read or have the time to read because of their busy schedules. So don't worry, I'll try to summarize and give you a bullet point that is as good as reading the whole book. I have read somewhere that non-fictional books are equivalent to a bachelor's degree. There is a huge amount of information in books. It is very important to memorize it and practice it every day. Guys, in this video, let's learn as much as we can in just four or five minutes. So, without further ado, let's start the video. Today, I'm aiming to summarize one of the famous books written by Robin Sharma, the monk who sold his Ferrari. He is an Indian origin and lives in Canada. He quit his lawyer job in pursuit of peace and satisfaction and became a writer and motivational speaker. One of my favorite books, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, focuses on how we can control our minds. It focuses on how to prepare our minds for anything we wish to achieve. It shows how to remove unproductive habits from our lives. How can you gain confidence and remove fear? You can gauge yourself from day one if you practice these steps. So, what are the activities we need to follow on a regular basis? Let's see one by one. We exercise our bodies, right? Why? To achieve an attractive look and also to stay fit. It is important to become physically strong. Similarly, we need mind exercise. A healthy positive mind can handle any problem in the world. It will create a space to think and react accordingly. Some of the most effective mind exercises are Technique number 1. Heart of the Rose This trick is very simple. Pick up a rose flower and stare at it. But when you are doing this, please stay in a calm place. Make sure to avoid external sounds. As the flower dries, it will slowly change its color and become black because it becomes shady. Concentration is the key here. Could you stare at it for a few days without losing concentration? Other thoughts will begin popping up and destroy your concentration, right? It's alright. Try to bring back your mind. After a week or two, you can perform this technique for 20 minutes without any difficulty. This trick can also be used for deep meditation. Once you get the hang of it, you will be able to concentrate without getting distracted. Then the rose is not required. A habit takes 21 days to form. If you want to make a new habit or if you want to change a bad habit, practice something for 21 days. As per the neurological pathway, our brain registers that and will prompt you to do that again. So practice 21 days without fail and you will witness the miracle. If possible, practice the next day at the same time. 21 days of struggle will give you great rewards in return. Let's go to next technique. When negative thoughts occupy our mind, replace them with a positive one. A weak mind leads to weak actions. So if you are feeling fear or anxiety, just go to your room, shut the door, hold all calls, close your eyes, then take a few deep breaths. After 2 or 3 minutes, you will feel relaxed. Thoughts are in our control. Always try to think positive. If you do not control your thoughts, they'll start controlling you. The most effective way to practice positive thinking is to write down your dreams in a notebook. Illustrate that book with a few images. Make it visually appealing and spend a few minutes every day glancing over it. At least once a day you should see this book. Anytime you feel fear or anxiety or when you have a fight with someone, visualize this book for a moment. It will give you positive vibes. Let's move to our next mind exercise. Chanting Mantras Mantras are effective influencers. It gives us inner strength. Practicing loudly empowers motivation, gives inspiration and also boosts our energy. If you practice it constantly, it will never let you down. At least tell yourself I am strong, I am able, I am calm. You will feel something good happening around you. In this book, there is one mantra. I am more than I appear to be. All the world's strength and power rests inside me. Say this for 30 times in a relaxed manner. It means I am stronger than what I am and I have all the strength I need. Our Hindu Sanskrit mantras have the same meaning. Mantra gives us strong willpower. Will does not have a mind of its own. It waits for you to give instructions. The more power you exert over it, the more powerful it will become. In this book, he has described 10 rituals of radiant living. Let's see them one by one. First, Ritual of Solitude. 
it means taking time for yourself sit in the park for at least 15 minutes observe nature or if you can't get outside download some nature images if you have 10 minutes we use our phones plus social media apps or we watch tv you can't believe how fast time passes while you learn nothing from instagram videos so the ritual of solitude is nothing but take time for yourself and absorb yourself exercise daily or practice yoga to multiply your energy energy will provide stability to complete the task while exercising avoid wearing headphones or watching tv we need to embrace the present which means living in the now you can gauge your physical strength by performing conscious physical exercise similarly another critical aspect is conscious breathing you should do it every night for 2 or 3 minutes just feel how the air flows inside your body next one is ritual of live nourishment it is very simple eat healthy eat vegetables and avoid junk food and meat meat slows down our thinking ability fourth one is ritual of abundant knowledge or acquiring knowledge read for 30 minutes daily content oriented books rather than fiction take any book which is related to your profession read practice and advance in your career fifth one is ritual of personal reflection it is all about thinking thinking about day went on figure out what went right and where you need improvements always try to push beyond your limits whether it is physical or mental while doing physical workout try to do few additional counts by this you can unlock mental or physical reserves which you never thought you had luck and life always saves prepared minds next one is ritual of early awakening sleep early and wake up early try to see the sunrise and take sun bath we aren't bothered about sunrise in our daily lives it is the one of the beautiful moment and gives you a positive feeling and charm sleep is very important aspect you should get at least 6 or 8 hours of uninterrupted sleep each night it is always better than 10 or 12 hours of interrupted sleep what are the activities one should carry before and after sleep at least do these activities 10 minutes before and after before you go to sleep do not use mobile phones do not watch tv finish your dinner 1 hour before listen to some soft music or if possible meditate keep your mind calm before you go to sleep watching tv using mobile phones could upset your mind most importantly do not argue with your family members so after sleep convey your gratitude to dear ones go for a walk try to laugh at least in front of mirror two or three year child laughs on an average 200 to 300 times a day as an adult we never laugh more than 10 times unless you are in a comedy movie for a long lasting life it is very important to cultivate an habit of laughing seventh ritual is ritual of music the name implies that one must listen to some soft music and embrace it if you like dancing please dance along with some music it is an energy booster next ritual of spoken word as i said it is all about mantras mantras are melodic phrases with spiritual interpretations such as human desire for truth reality light immortality peace love knowledge and action the use of mantras or functions of mantras or uh, types of mantras varies according to the schools and philosophy of hinduism buddhism jainism and sikhism and even in the japanese shingon tradition the word shingon means mantra mantra is derived from two words man and tra man means mind and tra means transportation or mind travels across the lands the ninth ritual is ritual of congruent character it is all about being wise or doing the right thing to build your character do not compare or compete with anyone because we are all different race against yourself when you have decided to do something do it you fight with your laziness and try to accomplish the task do not blame others the final uh, ritual is ritual of simplicity it says lead a simple life control your needs do not fall for material happiness channelize that desire to something else when you master your mind you master your life
This is all about the 10 rituals of radiant living. If you have right discipline and if you wake up early, certainly this can be performed. There is a saying in English that says, don't focus on your goals, instead focus on the habits that will take you to them. The important aspect of this book is Kaizen technique. Practice the act you are most scared of. If you are a shy and want to overcome your fear of public speaking, try practicing that. There are lot of courses and workshops. You can volunteer to speak about any topic in front of the public. Over time, what we think is our fear or limitation will become our strength. Embrace and accept failure, but do not stop trying and plan accordingly. Remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. That's all for today. Those who have already read this book should add any points if I have missed anything in the comments. So practice as much as you can and you will see the difference. Forget about the past. Focus on what you want to achieve in your life. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Become an architect of the future. I know it is very difficult to follow all of them. So pick up the easy ones first. Waking up early or heart of the rose and mantras or take up one by one. So all the best guys. So I would recommend a book called Asura which was written by Anand Nilakanta. Book gives us the perception about Ramayana from Ravana's anger. What were the difficulties in Ravana's life? What made him to bring Sita to Lanka? You can start with this if you are a beginner. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.